When we had last left the Spacefarer, their adventures continued on Sidonia, because instead of going to Luna and investigating whatever cool junk await there, they got sidetracked by 50 million people asking 5 billion different things. Yes, some people wanted to build houses and have planets surveyed. Other people were talking about Space Frog, the cool new character created by this child. Other people were talking about religion, and somebody had a pilot and a ship gone missing again. How many ships and pilots were missing in this galaxy? Sounds like probably 5,000 at least. It's time to track down one of those 5,000, baby. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And we're probably not going to track down that person. Let's be real. I'm going to put up Always pictures of Space Frog. <laughs> Fuck the missing pilot. It's time to put up a children's drawing all over the space station. Everybody needs to know about Space Frog. Fuck off, pilot. Eat shit. Go die in the coldness of space, asshole. It's Space Frog time. <laughs> Fuck, this game rocks. <laughs> uh, oh shit, some cool books. Are we stealing from the child? Hell yeah. Oh wait, if we are stealing from the child, do you think Skyrim's like weird ownership friendly time situation will exist in this game too? No, cause I don't think it persisted in, in Fallout 4, did it? Yeah, so I should probably just take these, right? Let's see here. Let me write down. Hard. Times. Okay. Let's do a quick save in case we get caught. Good. What is that? What is that little doohickey? I don't know. David. Copper field. Isn't David David Copperfield a muse a magician? Or <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know <laughs> who is David Copperfield. I think it's <laughs> oh god. I can see my girlfriend laughing at me. I don't think they're a magician. I think I don't think they are. She's laughing and trying to hold in her, her sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely, obviously, they're not a magician. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, wait, she's nodding at me. I'm right. She just saw my delivery. It is a magician? Oh, my gosh. All right. Fucking nailed it. Got it. Easy. Man, am I the smartest man alive? Uh, I think so. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> wow, this one's already beginning with a fucking rip-roaring opening. Dover Beach. There we I go. Them it was a bad idea. Have you ever met anyone like that? Just Nothing like a little fucking Starfield to get me in a fucking hell of a mood. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Well, if you hear Over something here. Look at Sarah fucking slunking in there. <laughs> I sure am glad you're helping me. Oh, Renee's journal. Oh, okay. Another book down here. The Light of Stars. Jesus. Okay. You know what? I forgot to read last time as well. There we are. The Light of Stars. Oh. The Learned Astronomer. Do I have that one? That one sounds familiar. No, I do not. The... Learned... Astronomer. There we go. Man, I'm gonna need to make like a Google Doc to sort all this shit out. Okay. Let's see. Renee's journal. Oh shit, there's a whole lot. Okay. Vacation. Today I asked mom if we could go visit another planet sometime soon, but she said we couldn't because she and dad have to work. They always have to work, and it sucks. I really want to go somewhere else because Sidonia is so boring sometimes. I like playing with Taya, but there's nowhere to go, 
It's always here or his place, and there's nowhere to run around and play. They always say we can't run around the plaza because we could fall off the side, but we don't even go near the sides. Boo. Gross. Dad tried to make dinner earlier, but he tried using this new protein and it was not good. Mom was able to fix it, but only a little bit. It still wasn't very good, and I asked both Mom and Dad not to make it again. Taya's mom. This morning I went to play with Taya, but he said he couldn't play because his mom was feeling really sad. So he wanted to spend time with her. I wish I could do something to help her. I tried making her a funny drawing and she said she liked it and it made her smile, but then she was still sad the next day. I don't know what to do because not only do I want to play with Taya, it makes me sad when someone else is sad. Oh my God, holy shit, I'm gonna fucking cry. Space frog. So I thought of another idea for Space Frog. One day, the people of a small town on a new planet start getting sick, and no one knows why. But then Space Frog comes down to visit and notices all the sick people. He asks them, what's going on? And they tell him that they're all getting sick for some reason. So Space Frog goes to investigate. He finds out that someone has poisoned the well. <laughs> I'm still not sure who yet. I might need to make up a bad guy. Space Rogue doesn't really have any enemies because he doesn't really fight anyone. But maybe this time he could have one and he can solve it by talking to them. Aww. Pictures. People are feeling mopey again. I think it's time to put up more pictures to make p people happy. But mom says I can't go out unless she and dad are home. But they're always working. And when they're not, it's always time for something else like dinner or homework or whatever. I came up with a new drawing of Space Frog that I think people will really like, too. I don't know what to do. Oh my god! I'm gonna put up a million drawings of Space Frog! Fuck that pilot and his missing ship! They can die out in the coldness of space! I will put up a million more drawings of Space Frog! Oh my god. I'm immediately tracking the Space Frog quest. Space Frog from outer space. Let's fucking go, Space Frog! These are supposed to be luxurious condominiums? Ha, huh. if you ask me, I find them to be rather underwhelming. Oh my god, Sarah! <laughs> Sarah is quite snooty. Okay. You know what? I can kind of appreciate it. Fucking Sarah Morgan is a luxury few can afford. Oh, are you Taya? When I get older, yeah. I'm gonna work in the mines like my dad did. So I can save up and buy my mom a house somewhere nice. Okay. Do you actually speak? Or- oh. Hey, uh... Who are you? I'm... Taya, I'm Space Frog. <laughs> no! <laughs> Space Frog is real. And it's me. I am Space Frog. No. I'm Lyle Schnub just visiting Sedonia. Name's Lyle Schnub and you are? It's probably best you don't know who I am. None of your business, kid. I'm Lyle Schnub, just visiting Sidonia. Nice to meet you. I hope you like it more than I do here. I'm Taye. I live here in the condos. Sorry. I don't, I don't usually talk to strangers and Taya. I don't know. I guess I'm thinking about lots of different things right now. I don't really know what to say. So, is there a school around here or something? You seem concerned about something. Is everything okay? What do kids do for fun in Sidonia? Is everything okay? Yeah. I'm just worried about my mom. She gets sad all the time, and I just want to help her. Jesus Christ. She's been that way since my dad died. Only, she doesn't like me talking about it to other people. So, I probably shouldn't. But you know what? Maybe you should talk to her? She says she doesn't get to talk to too many other adults much. Maybe talking to her would help? I don't know. It's worth a shot, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, hey, what do kids do for fun in Sidonia, by the way? I don't know. I guess we just make up some games. Usually, I just hang out and talk with Renee, since she's close to how old I am. Sometimes, we go to the community center. And they have stuff to do there. 
like crafts, movies, music, and other activities. But, except not when the adults are having a meeting. Renee calls them sad meetings because everyone seems so sad in them. I asked my mom what they were, but she says it was something to do with drinking. And like, I've never gotten sad after drinking water, so I don't know what's going on. Good God, this is fucking you gotta dour. Be quiet. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, is there a school around here? Nah, there's no school in Sidonia. My mom says it's because everything's so packed together, there's no room for it. But right. also, there's almost no kids here either, so it doesn't make sense to have one. Instead, we learn remotely. It's cool, I guess, but it'd be cooler if I got to hang out with more kids my age. Like, my friend Renee is fun to hang out with and all, but I think she probably feels the same way. Having a real school would be nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Later then. This is such a real ass look at like... I don't know, like a family situation in a place like this. Fuck. Okay. Hard times. Notebooks, tissues, great expectations, folder. Fields of Everglass, okay. Of Everglass. Good. And Red Rover come over, we've read that one. Oh, these are stealing. We'll hold off on these. It's been years since the Styard accident took Keith from us. It never gets any easier. Hey. Ugh. Don't tell me my son Tai invited another stranger to come talk to me again, did he? That boy means well, but he's gonna drive me crazy someday. I met him. He said you were having a rough time. No, he didn't send me. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. What if I just lie? Nah, let's be truthful. I met him. He said you were having a rough time. Heh. <laughs> Gotta hand it to him. He's got his ways of looking out for me. My son means well, and I know he's just trying to look out for me. My husband, his father, isn't with us anymore. It's been hard ever since. Taye or Taya? I forget. Sounds like a good kid. You're raising him well. What happened to your husband? What happened to your husband? Keith died in a mining accident a few years ago. It wrecked me. Here I was, stuck on Mars, suddenly alone with a young child. I still haven't really recovered from that. I don't really know what to do. Oh shit. Offer 20,000 credits. Maybe this will help you and your son towards a better life. Holy shit, you can actually do shit like that in this game to help people for real? I think you're doing all you can. I'm sure Taya appreciates it. Why don't you leave Sidonia? What do you do for work? How does your son cope with all this? Do I have 20,000 to give? I'm worried that if I say, why don't you leave Sidonia? She'll say something. You know what? I quick saved. I want to give them 20,000 credits. I don't give a shit how badly it hurts me. Well, I want to exhaust these to, boring, to hear what she says. Am I? Uh, why don't you leave Sidonia? Probably can't because you need the money, right? It's a fucked up, vicious cycle. Why don't you leave Sidonia? When Keith died, Deimos settled with us. Per the settlement, they agreed to buy this condo and allow us to live here rent free until Tae turns 18. Finding work that I can do as a single mother here on Sidonia has been almost impossible. What little money we do get from the settlement every month goes directly towards what we need to live. To be fair, Demos provides us with a sustainable lifestyle. They take care of health expenses, food, and more. But it's not enough to pick up and move. Jesus, what do you do for work? Now? 
Nothing. I haven't worked in almost ten years, not since we moved here for Keith's job. I had originally been offered a job here at the local Galblank branch as its manager. But not a week before I was due to start, they announced that the Sidonia branch was to be fully automated instead. It was never meant to be permanent anyway, but then when Keith died, I needed to take care of Tai full time. Not many jobs here for a, a single mom. Oh, too bad we couldn't get her a job working uh, as a secretary for that one idiot jackass, right? Though maybe that wouldn't work because, it, yeah, she would need to be present for her kid, right? She couldn't be away. Yeah, so I don't think it would have worked out. And how would you hire, like, a babysitter on Sidonia of all places, right? When the kid is still young to where they can't, like, look after themselves quite, quite yet. How does your son cope with all this? Taye is good. He obviously misses his daddy, and he's bright enough to understand the situation we're in. Yeah. He keeps talking about how he wants to get a job and help move me out of here. He's a good boy. I don't know what I'd do without him. I just hope he doesn't have to get a job in the mines. Jesus. I couldn't stand the thought of losing two of my guys to that life. Oh my god, this is so fucking- this is some like real shit. Oh my god. Alright, here. Uh, god, I hope I have 20,000 on me. I don't know if I do, but fuck, for once in a video game, you're able to use, like, some of your ridiculously wild resources to actually help people, I guess? Alright. I wonder if this will be a commonality in the game, or if this is just, like, a one-off for early game shit, right? Alright, here, maybe this will help you and your son towards a better life. Oh. Oh my. Are you sure? That's... My gosh, it's so generous. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to put it away into savings for Tai. Maybe we can afford a better education for him, or get off this planet someday. Then he won't have to work in the mines like his daddy. Thank you so much. If I can ever find a way to repay you, I will. How incredibly kind. I'm continuing to learn things about you. Good things. Oh. I'm truly lucky to have a friend who shows such generosity to a total stranger. I'll never forget this. Wow, cool. Growing up in Sidonia, you gotta be tough. Alright. Yeah, that's wild. I didn't expect- usually in role-playing games you're not given the opportunity to affect someone's life like that, right? How much- how much money do we have? Oh yeah, look, I've still got 30 grand left. Yeah, because that was like a... It was a significant amount, you know? Alright, let's pop this open. Oh, another sanitation mini-bot. I wonder if they'll show up again or, like, send us a letter or whatever the fuck. I'm going to pretend you didn't just steal that. Yeah. Pretend, Sarah. Pretend. There we go. Good. It's gotta be said, the lighting in the Lux condo is really weird and bright. Okay, how about up here? That goes back out to the central hub. Oh, this door is locked. Ooh, what lurks within? What lurks within? We can use our new fucking ability. Okay. Well, that's not gonna work. It may work on the intersection. Okay. Oh, it lights up now if we if it goes into that ring. I see. Wow, that makes it super simple then. Doesn't it? Which I guess is kind of a necessity. Okay. So there. Okay. 
Okay. Isn't this a few too many? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Oh, I see. If it goes into any of them, I think is the is the the thought process. Okay, fuck me. Yeah, cuz we already have Yeah, these two are false. False positive or whatever you would call it. I understand. What the fuck? Okay. So we've solved the outer level. So then using these, can I solve the inner one? I don't think you can. Can you? Yeah, these two will solve the inner. Okay. I'm trying to understand how this shit works. Okay, which means only these three notches are going to be a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. So maybe it does... It does work for the current ring. Right? Yeah, okay. I understand now how it works. Okay. Thank goodness. It works in a bit of a more easy way. Helpful way. I wonder if there's like restricted areas. Pickwick Papers. Learned Astronomer. Dover Beach. Light of Stars. Can I read any others of these? No. Okay. Fair enough. What the fuck is that? I believe this is where the city's governor lives. I don't think we've been invited here, so perhaps we should leave. Oh, he ain't gonna be here much longer. <laughs> don't worry about that, Sarah. He ain't gonna be here much longer. Governor's fucking computer and shit. Supply shelf. Zero wire. That's not someone walking around. Is that you, Sarah? Doing that? God, I hope it is. I hope there's not going to be some scary guy who shows up and gets mad at me. Okay, I'll just run down the stairs screaming that I am the space frog. Oh. Synth meat turkey. Money. 159 big ones. Portable CD player. Wow, it's quite valuable. Okay. Let's look at his computer, Sarah. Alright, let's take a peek at this. Okay. So then we need a three-pronged approach, which I think could be this one. Yep. However, that could also go inside the center one. Look at that, it changes the center one too. Good god, man. Okay. How about like that? Okay, yeah, and then we need only a three fur. Oh, but we don't have one, do we? Oh dear, okay. Huh. How about this one? This one will fit down here, won't it? Yeah, okay. But then we need that three fur again, and we don't have a three fur shaped like that, do we? No. Okay. Well, what the fuck? How about this one? Okay. And then... What if I used it like this or so? Right? Like that. And then... Well, shit, you need another fucking... Three Dude Magoo. Yeah, it ain't gonna pan out. 
Hmm. How can we resolve the outer one? Here's one that needs a three for, but are there any that are spread out like that? Yeah, this one. Okay. Oh shit, no. No, that one doesn't work. Shit, it does not work. Oh, okay. How about this one, though? How about these two right next to each other? Yeah. These two solve it. Okay. That said, maybe I already arrived at that solution. Okay. So how could I solve this next one, then? Does this solve it? The interior circle? I think it does. Yeah, so these two and these two will solve it. Hey! There we go. Thank goodness, that's fucking tough. Okay. Messages. Thank you. Governor Hurst, I just wanted to extend our gratitude for seeing that our mutual interests were kept in mind with that shipping fiasco last week. Had it not been for your persistence in hounding system defense to locate the missing shipment, I fear it would have had major financial repercussions for our business associate and put our partnership in peril. Thank you again for making it clear that you value the Trade Authority's presence here on Mars, Octai and Bayar. And the Trade Authority seems shady as shit. Retreat. Good news, honey. The retreat has been extended for another month, and they've asked me to continue my seminar. I know it's not easy being away from you for so long, but I've been enjoying my time here, and the money is good. So I'm fairly certain that I'll accept their offer. It's just another month. Then I'll be home and we can hopefully get the rest of the family together for a visit. Or maybe we can do some sort of off-world reunion. It's always hard to plan a big get-together in Sidonia, but maybe we can see about renting a space in New Atlantis. Anyway, I miss you lots and I'll be home before you know it. Love, Tamara. And he was cheating on Tamara. I wonder if we can find Tamara. Regarding Neon? What do you say we meet? What do you s what do you say to next weekend in Neon? I know a place we can meet up, Glenn. Neon sounds great. Count me in. I haven't been in forever, so I'm very much looking forward to this. Just let me know when and where, and I'll be there. Is this the person that he was cheating with? I forgot what their name began with. I think it began with an S. Expansion. Governor Hurst, I looked into what it would take to expand your condo. Realistically, I've got to say that even if you can afford it, it's not a good idea, structurally. As you know, we need to do with the space as you need we need as you know, we need to make do with the space we have in Sidonia. And adding on to Lux condominiums just isn't feasible at this time without risking the integrity of the building and the structures around it. Your best bet would to be to buy an adjoining unit and knock out a floor or a wall to assimilate it into what you've got. But even then, that hurt the Sidonia's housing market. I urge you to wait until the crater project is finished. Once the miners clear up enough space, maybe we can think about expanding the city into it and pushing the mines further out to make room for more residential buildings. Sorry for the bad news, Anton Friedman. Quick favor. Hey, Dad. As you know, we've had some costly repairs to the house recently, and I'm dipping down into my last 200,000 credits to pay the contractors. I was wondering if you could transfer some more credits into my gal bank account sometime soon. You know, just in case. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. P.S. How's Mom? Is she back from her retreat yet? Give her my love. David. Wow. Okay, you got a kid, too. Sounds like an adult kid. 
My last 200,000 credits as well. Fucking A. See ya. You know, I really believed you last time. Well, I'm done. You know, first what happened in Neon, then all this about cutting me off. After all I've done for you, you're a bastard, you know that? You think you can just walk away from me like you have no use for me anymore? Well, I've got news for you. I know more than you wish I knew. I also still have the spare key to your ship. And by the time you get this, it'll be too late to do anything about it. Have a nice life, Glenn. Signed S. Oh, right. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Personal notes to do. Call contractor about expansion estimate. Message to Mara. Pick up prescription, change food delivery time. Transfer funds to David, cancel hotel in Neon. Rough draft unfinished. My fellow Sidonians, it is with great pleasure that I announce our quarterly GDP is higher than expected, bringing with it one of the strongest economies in Mars history. Many thanks to our friends at Deimos and our other local businesses, large and small alike, who helped make it all possible. With that in mind... Autobiography notes? Okay. Dude's a little fucking self-important. Title names, Governing Mars, Visions of Sidonia, read all over. Hearst, a new future for the old colony. I mean, I guess, yeah, you have to be a little self-important to go out of your way and, uh, like, have an extramarital affair and really think that you can just fucking pull all this shit and get away with it, right? Like, he very, uh, and, and, like, also as well, getting the, the, the Crimson Fleet and me involved, he thought that he was some kind of, like, unstoppable mastermind. Right? Obviously, he was self-involved. Of course he would have an autobiography. That tracks 100%. Or one to make an autobiography, I should say. Chapter 1. Talk about my early life. What brought me to Mars? Chapter 2. Studying law, early political career. Chapter 3. The challenges we face together and how I solve them. Chapter 4. Looking to the future. Building a better Mars together. Wow. What a complete asshole. <laughs> Never could get the hang of hacking. I prefer a more direct approach myself. Mm. Okay, Sarah. Well, you know what? It seems like it's very much exactly the same as lockpicking. <laughs> you know, it seems remarkably similar to lockpicking. It's got to be said. All right, so we've checked everything here then? Yeah, I guess so. Dude wanted more space when he's just got this. Dude has just got whatever the fuck this part of his house is. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, but he's got it. Also, what is this shit? Is that like an AC unit or what? Huh. Okay. Let's head on down and out. Oh wait, we have to put up space frog picks in here. Okay, we can do that. Oh, shit. Over this way. You know, by the way, I forgot if I mentioned it in a video, but I realized the day-night cycle is reflected by the actual shadow and light on our watch in the bottom left. That's an accurate depiction of the day-night cycles, right? So you can see that, like, daylight is ending and nighttime has almost completely taken over the planet. Very neat. Stay away from the sixth circle unless you're a miner. Or at least don't come crying to me if anything happens to you. Good spot for Space Frog. Hey, look at Space Never Frog! Forget, there's nothing humanity can't accomplish through science and working hand in hand with one another. Yeah. There are many stories and films hey, about demons, ghosts, and other entities on Mars. No wonder people here do not take religion seriously anymore. Yeah, I've heard about these ghosts of Mars. <laughs> Yo, I've heard- I know what you're talking about, Kamal! Horus Kamal, I know what you're talking about, the fucking ghosts of Mars? I think they made one hell of a movie about that. <laughs> what the fuck? You gotta be shitting me. Faith in God is what brought us to the stars. Alright, Horus, what's up? Greetings, my child. Is there any assistance the Sanctum Universum can offer you? Tell me about all your shit. I'd love to know. I'd be gracious for anything you have to offer. Nah, I don't need anything. I just wanted to talk. Oh, is this a religious thing? No, thank you. I have to go now. 
Uh, yeah, you got... You gonna give me some shit? I'll take it. Very well. Please accept this gift in peace and prosperity. Blessed is the Lord, for he giveth to those less fortunate. May I assist you with anything else? Perhaps you would be kind enough to stay and hear more about our beloved Holy Creator. We can stay and listen if you like. I find theological discussions to be quite interesting. Yeah, me too, Sarah, the frankly. The Sanctum Universum will always be available to you, if you wish to know more. I'm all set, thanks. I always have time to talk about religion. People drive their own fate and morality, not some sort of non-existent mystical creator. I'm a firm believer in the Almighty, who cares for us and guides us to the stars. Yeah, I have a, I have an interest. I always have time to talk about religion. Wonderful. God is indeed great. Not only did he breathe life into each and every one of us, but he opened the heavens to us and showed us the way to space so that we may be closer to him. The Sanctum Universum is always here to provide guidance in your spiritual journey if you seek it. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what the history is of this religion. Is it meant to be like an amalgam of current day modern faiths and stuff? Because there is commonality and you could for certain uh, like bridge those gaps in a more optimistic way and f like found an entire belief system over the the um, um, enjoying the silence over bridging the, the gaps, right? So to speak. Because that's what it, the vibe that I get, right? I want to say that I remember hearing something in, like, the pre-release material about, like, one of their timeline releases or whatever, but I don't want to go out of my way and say one way for certain because I, I cannot fucking remember for sure. But I'm sure we'll have our questions answered before long, whether here or elsewhere. You mentioned something about offering assistance to those in need. What do you do here? Yeah, what do you do here? I help run this community center along with my associate, Joy. It's People cool from that all walks of life are always welcome to come here and share this space for whatever purpose they need. I am also here to assist those seeking faith in God under the Sanctum Universum as we lack a true spiritual center here on Mars. Right. What can you tell me about your beliefs? In its simplest form, Sanctum Universum believes that God has given us the ability to manipulate the heavens so that He may lead us to Him. As such, we accept those from all the faiths of old, provided they seek faith in the Almighty Creator. This is fucking incredible. I can... I can scarcely think of very few games that just straight up address I can wait. religion in such I a direct time. way. Right? Or at the very least, like a derivative of current day religion. Right? Which I think is the case here, but like I said, I'm just not sure. If God brought us to the stars, why stop there and not lead us to him directly? Ah, because to truly follow the teachings of our Lord and Creator, you must still have faith. Right, Were that's why they call it to that. to simply lead us to Him directly, it would defeat the purpose. You see, our mortal journey is still an important part of the human experience. We must learn and grow in our lives. Only then can we prove we are worthy of joining Him in the hereafter. Right, okay. It looks like you have a quest. Did Joy have also day. have a quest? And I just forgot? I didn't realize that Horus was, like, right here immediately. Okay. I would be down to get both of their Most quests. Can't wait to get I'm assuming the they're not... Oh, wait, you New have a Sidonia? name. <laughs> Savon. Hope you like Sands. Where is Joy? Oh, here. Sometimes it feels wait, like no. the UC forgets we're out here. Well, there'd be no UC if it hadn't been for Mars. Oh, here's Joy. All are welcome here, enlightened or not. Why, hello there. What can I help you with? Have you come to seek assistance from the House of Enlightenment? Okay. No, I don't need anything. Yeah, we. so you don't have Stay a quest. Safe out there. Horace does, though. If you know Horace, what's the quest? You. you mentioned something about offering assistance to those in need? We will always offer assistance to anyone oh, who needs I see. it, regardless if they choose to follow our faith. One That's good. One is not conditional upon the other. We would never turn someone in need away, and we will happily serve those of any level of need. Okay. 
I have to wonder how corrupt either of these two institutions can or cannot get, right? Because obviously this this feels like a very earnest for both of them. This feels like very earnest and sincere iterations of both of their religious organizations. Um, but just as it is in real life with either of them, there are people of varying degrees who will like seize that opportunity and exploit the shit out of well-meaning people, you know? And I wonder if this game will also touch onto it, and that's why they have, um, like I said, I think, have it be like a derivative of real-life stuff, right? Patience have it be adjacent to real-life um, comparisons and all of that. That would be very fucking good, I think. I, I don't need anything at the moment, but it's good to know you're here. I'd be gracious for anything you have to offer. Do you have a safe place where I can sleep? Can you offer me some spiritual guidance? Can I get financial assistance? Can I get a hot meal? I don't really need any of that, so I don't want to ask for it. Um, I don't need anything at the moment, but it's good to know you're here. Of course. We are happy to provide. Come back anytime. Okay. That's I'm so fucking cool. For your religious needs. Right? That is so fucking cool. What a Let's die, see. huh? Savan? Forrest is being a miner is dreary. Being a mining executive is just bleak. Okay, hang on, let me see talk ya. to you from the front. If you need a quiet spot to think, the community center is a good place. Yeah, it doesn't seem half fucking bad. Can you tell me about yourself? I lived a pretty quiet life to start, but the quieter things got, the more noise I made. Got into trouble, did the whole teenage rebellion to her, that sort of thing. <laughs> Dad used to say I was made reckless by boredom, but I think he deserves some of the credit. What brings you to the community center? I came to do a little good old fashioned soul searching. You'd think it'd be easy to find, given it's my soul, <laughs> but nope. <laughs> okay. Turns out it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, fair enough. Later. Later, good talk. I don't know. I quite like both of them, right? And like I said, I'm just kind of waiting for the other shoe to, to drop and for us to go somewhere else and find, like, I have a pen pal these two, lessons. but the bad versions, right? <laughs> right? Just, like, the sinister evil versions of the two red of them. <laughs> All right. Everything Hattie Gustafson. As far as the eye can see. 20 years ago, I moved to, to Sidonia on a whim. Never thought I'd stay for as long as I have. What brings you here to the community center? Not to get all sappy, but I lost a son in the war. Oh, God. It's been 20 years, but it still makes 20 my brain years. a bit swirly the colony war, about right? it. Just never got to say goodbye, you know? That bugs me. Yeah. So I come here to try and get peace. Right, I'm sorry. Uh, what do you think of the caretakers here? Joy and Horus? I think they get along well enough. Sure, they argue, but... That's a good thing. This agreement's healthy. What good are your beliefs if you never have to defend them? Sure, yeah. I think they have a very good thing going here. See ya. Yeah, I think it's fantastic, frankly. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that goes back to the central hub. There's at least one more space frog poster I can put up in here. Learning to accept the truth of higher power is key. All right. Good. Oh, I guess just in case, just for clarity's sake, right? Um, I've talked about this a little bit before, particularly in our Pentiment playthrough, because I was very, um, a lot of the backdrop for that game is religion and faith. But in real life, I am agnostic, right? Just because I figure that's at the tip of everybody's tongue right now, because we're talking so much about it, right? In real life, uh, your host here is agnostic. All right. Let's go over this way. Another space frog. Aww. Space frog is cute. There we go. Good. Oh shit, we have to go to a different floor? Okay, let's get these two first. Looks like one in the, the bar. And one right here at the entry point. Ain't you brave, coming to see a bona fide tracker. 
All right, take it easy. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your Wow, in the bathroom, space frog. Okay, shit. Demo star yards may be the first thing. Yeah, I guess we hadn't used the elevator yet. I don't know where it will pop us out at. Okay. I can't believe how much shit there is to do here. All right, choose floor. P2. What is P? Hey. No way, I just jumped down here? I could have just taken the elevator? It seems so much quicker. <laughs> okay, good spot for space frog. There you go, space frog. Good shit. We never really fully looked all the way down here at P2. Is there anything good down here, you think? Let's do a quick save, just in case we, like, eat shit in some horrifying way. <sighs> Sorry, I was about to say horrific, but then I, I, like, thought better of it halfway through. People yeah. always ask me what I think about mining. It rocks! Right. <sighs> okay. Anything else here? Nah, I don't think so. Oh yeah, we should have our scanner on, shouldn't we? Vacuum tape. Notebook. Okay. Good. Just being thorough. And what's this? Iron. More iron. More iron. Alright. Yeah, I like the idea of expanding the residential area out further. As they dig up more of it. Very, uh... Very Minecraft. <laughs> very Minecraft, honestly. Okay. What is that? Just a smidge of iron upon st the ground. You see security over here. Well, you guard the fucking fences. Okay. I sure hope this hearing loss isn't permanent. Oh God. So too. We're the robot coming through. Maybe you can fucking sue Deimos and get a ear implant or something. We know cybernetics exists in this world by way of the backgrounds and traits, right? I'm. Do you think we can get cybernetic implants and shit? Right? Can I get... Can I get a fucking cool implant or whatever? I feel like I should be able to, but maybe at the same time that's effectively what the perks are meant to be. Right? That's the head cannon that you're meant to use? I don't know. Okay. Let's head over to residential. Check in with Renee again. <sighs> Almost break time. Come on, you can make it. Hey, kid. Just put the pictures up where you think lots of people are going to see them. I did. I just know people are going to love those new drawings of Space Frog. Yeah, hey, Renee. I finished posting the drawings all around Sidonia for you. Hi. Thanks for doing that for me. I wish I could do it myself, but having a friendly adult help me is almost as good. Anything to help bring a smile to people's faces. I know you're a kid, but normally people get paid for doing work. We're going to ask the small child to pay me. <laughs> oh my god. No, we can't. It's my first playthrough. I can't do that. I cannot. Anything to help bring a smile to people's faces. I know, right? Last time I did this, lots of people came over to tell me how much they loved it. I only hope these drawings stay up longer this time. Anyways, it's not much, but I got a little something for you as a thank you. It's a gun. Aw, oh, 12 credits. You can now build space frog. Wait, what did that say? I can build space frogs? What? I can build a space frog somewhere at like my outpost or something? Is that what that said? <sighs> Space Frog from outer space. He'll put a smile on your face. Visits all the planets <gasps> and all the stars. But right now, he's on Mars. Wow. I fucking love Space Frog. How do you think people like the pictures of Space Frog we put up? I think they'll really like them. I mean, come on. You've seen Space Frog. He's so cute. He is cute. Maybe this time, people will like my drawing so much that no one will take them down. 
Maybe they'll be up forever. And ever. And ever. Oh my gosh. What if they're there forever and people like him so much? They make him a real Space Frog cartoon. Or like toys for kids to play with. Or both. Oh my gosh. If they ever make a Starfield 2 like 50 years from now. <laughs> they need to have Renee grown up. Or they just... Even depending on how far in the future is, there needs to be a Space Frog cartoon or some shit. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. This was so heartwarming. What a sweet little quest. And then also with the other kid that you can help out as well. What the fuck? I fucking love it. Wow. All right. Cool. <sighs> I'm not even sure if the other quest will anything will turn up. It was just so buck wild to me that we could even offer to help, you know, after so many times in Skyrim where we had to turn away literal orphan children living on like ice cold city streets despite having a luxurious like three-story house like 10 meters away from where they were sleeping on the street. Right? We had to turn them away. Here we can actually do something. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll we'll have to turn away. <laughs> we'll have to do. I'm sure that'll crop up again at, at some point, right? But it was nice. Just coming off of Skyrim where that was such a ridiculous running gag almost. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Have we ever been in here at Enhance? Not this one at least. Yeah, you better fucking not. You better fucking not take down those drawings. Fucking UC security, my fucking ass. All right. It's ever easy here. It's never a slow day. Damn. If you need a little, you know, touch up, I'm happy to help. Wow, it's only 500 credits to enhance yourself. Do you get a lot of business in Sidonia? Maybe from people having like disfigurements from mining accidents? I would believe that. You'd be surprised, I think. There are many dangerous jobs on Mars. Mining, military training, manufacturing. As such, there are sometimes accidents. Therefore, it stands to reason there is a lot of reconstructive surgery to be done after the other doctors and surgeons do their work. The work being done here at this enhanced branch may not be as glamorous as others, but it is no less important to those that receive it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Like, for instance, I think I've... Oh God, is it... I've known two people in real life who have lost part of a finger due to either work-related accidents or something else, right? And such a situation where it's only 500 credits to like legit get your finger back or whatever, that would be buck wild. All right, what do you think of living and working on Mars? I admit, I took this job because I thought it would be easier and low stress. I thought, who would be getting cosmetic surgery in a place like this? But I was wrong. I am constantly busy treating scars, fitting prosthetics, and helping people recover from the dangers of working here. I want to keep working for Enhance. But until my transfer is approved and a replacement is found, it looks as if I'll be stuck here. Right. Hey, reconstructive surgery is important and can be even more fulfilling. Yeah, I thought you were just explaining that to me. I get it. People wouldn't need reconstructive surgery if they were just more careful. I love how much of this sort of loops back to being the at the fault of Deimos and like typical corporate bullshit. You know, how, like, they they weren't getting the necessary tools that they needed in order to provide safer conditions for the miners working here and shit. So much of the, the problems, like, loop back to this. It's all intertwined here. I do enjoy that a lot. All right. Yeah, whatever. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. Hey, reconstructive surgery is important and can you be even more help? fulfilling. Ah, you're probably right. At the end of the day, I'm helping someone look their best. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. All right. Be safe. Fun little talk. Okay. Well, I hope you never need it. 
But come to me if you need medical attention. Right. Oh, I'd love to take a vacation. If I see you around. Right. Okay, sorry, sorry. Nothing says December quite like and you holiday want chunks. That one fucking item. Okay. Milgonk droid. Sorry, what are they called again? Sanitation mini bot. Mop and bot. That's why I need to remember. So I stop calling them gonk droids. Okay. Over here. How about the other side? We never really went into the trade authority, did we? The miners pretty much run the low. We just kind of took a look and then got disgusted immediately. Oh, should we check in with this fucking guy again? Let's do it. Hey. I'm s I'd love to chat more, but I'm expecting a message any minute from the trade authority. You know how it is with these big businesses, am I right? You simply won't find a politician who works harder for his people than I do. Okay. Goodbye. Let's head over here. Oh, are you... No, you're just a citizen. Okay. I've spoken with you, haven't I? How's it going? Can I help you? Yeah, See you around. Good. Oh, well, you have well. an in. Look what the Martian winds blew in. You bothering me for a reason. I'm interested in doing work for the Trade Authority. Does the Trade Authority do a lot of business in Sidonia? What exactly do you do for the Trade Authority? Does the Trade Authority do a lot of business in Sidonia? You bet your arse we do, love. You've got all these dusties crammed into this tin can of a city, scrambling dusties. to use their profit shares to pay their bills. If they have a thin month in the mines, the credits are still due. So we're here to buy anything and everything people want to sell. Fucking vultures. If you catch Fucking me. vultures. Not that I'm admitting to anything, of course. Oh my god, they're so fucking... They li deliberately set up shop here to prey on people in, like, dire straits. Oh my god. <laughs> what exactly do you do for the trade authority? I'm in what you might call the special liaisons department. When the TA needs to deal with, um, let's call them organizations that tend to fly below the radar, uh -huh. that's where I step in. I keep my own hours and the pay is good. So who the hell am I to complain? God, I fucking love the trade authority and how ma how fucking shitty they are. I love is there a group I can join to, like, fight them? I, <laughs> I don't know. Is there, is there, like, a group I can just sign up for and, and have them be the antagonists? Oh, hey! I read a, an email from you or something. These invoices aren't going to review themselves. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, didn't we talk to him earlier? I think we may have. Okay. Oh, it's a master lock. What the fuck? What's in there? What is that? Oh, shit. They got some shit in here. Do you think you can, like, bust down the fucking door? Can I, like, strength check it? Oh, oh shit. Sorry, Sarah. Sorry, Sorry Sarah. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I can, like, laser it down? No. no. Stop that. You're going to kill someone. I'm not killing anyone, Sarah. Chill. I'm trying to get in this fucking master door. Alright. Fine. God, Mom. Fucking Sarah always up my ass about for something. Particular? Alright. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> okay. Sure, so we have work that we could do for the Trade Authority or these fucking bounty hunters, right? We could do either of those, but maybe we'll save them for later, right? Because usually when I play these, I prefer to do, especially on my first playthrough, I prefer to do quests that feel more in character for my character first. And then later on, uh, toward the end of the playthrough, like I said, we do ones for that that seem less savory, that seem feel less... Uh, akin to my character's headcanon and all of that, right? Okay. Well, this seems like a great point to stop. We still haven't gone to Luna. Absolutely for sure, next time, we're going to Luna, right? We're going to see what's on the fucking moon. 
We've got shit for there. We're going to do it 100%, right? God, I hope so. <laughs> All right. But for now, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. And what are we reading this time? But ho, 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 one of our many gajillion bazillion books. Like, for example... I don't know, Bleak House? Have I read that one yet? It's not even on my list. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, Bleak House. All right, yeah, we'll read Bleak House and a few others, probably. Yeah? Or maybe we'll read Constellation Guide. Can you actually read these? Oh, no, these are the skill-up books. Right. And they weigh nothing. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we'll definitely read Bleak House. So if you'd like to stick around, we're going to do a little bit of reading. Uh, for now, however, I'm going to take a quick drink. Apologies. <clears throat> All right. Bleak House. Jeez, did you hear what I said? Apologies. I was like, apologies. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what the fuck? I really needed the drink, I guess. All right. Bleak House, chapter one. In Chancery. London. Michael Moss. M Michael Moss? Is this a... What kind of a name is this? Michael Moss term lately over. And the Lord Chancellor sitting in Lincoln's Inn Hall. Im implacable. Implacable. November weather. As much mud in the streets as if the waters had but newly retired from the face of the earth. And it would not be wonderful to meet a megalosaurus 40 feet long or so, waddling like an elephantine lizard up Holborn Hill, smoke lowering down from chimney pots, making a soft black drizzle with flakes of soot in it as big as, as full-grown snowflakes gone into mourning, one might imagine, for the death of the sun. Dogs, undistinguishable in mire, Horses, scarcely better. Splash to their very blinkers. Foot passengers jostling one another's umbrellas in a general infection of ill temper and losing their foothold at street corners, where tens of thousands of other foot passengers have been slipping and sliding since the day broke, if this day ever broke, adding new deposits to the crust upon crust of mud, sticking at those points tenaciously to the pavement, and accumulating at compound interest. Considered by some experts to be the best novel Charles Dickens had ever written, Bleak House is a scathing satire of the British judiciary system. Okay. Yeah, a bit of a complicated read, right? Sure. All right, I'm, I'm not I'm not terribly cultured. Bleak House. There you have it. Checking it off the list. All right. And like I said, when next we come back, very likely Luna. Very, very likely. Until next time. Oh my gosh, look at this person's outfit. So much to do. Oh, it's almost perfect. Huh. All right, sorry. Oh, here. <laughs> oh wait, these are the the hoity-toity high-ranking members. Maybe we'll try to track them down and talk to them as well, right? Yeah, when next we come back, we'll talk with them real quick and see if they have anything to say. And then also we'll check out the moon, hopefully. Until next time, please take care of each other.